look at it by business. Um, I asked people kind of general categories, what types of businesses that you were in. This one didn't surprise me at all. Marketing and advertising people, Twitter and Facebook. Accounting, financial, highly regulated industries. Any of the industries that are very, very regulated, Twitter is really frightening to them. I mean, and we hear that anecdotally as well because everything they say and do has to go through compliance. It, they, they can't participate in very interactive media. They really, it really struggles. Um, LinkedIn feels very comfortable for them. Construction, these are um, home services, heating and air conditioning contractors, plumbers, roofers, 100% of them, Facebook is the, was the only thing they understood, and they have gone to that market kicking and screaming, um, but they're trying to figure it out. This one was uh, the art community, and the reason I got a lot of responses from the art community, my husband's an artist, so I had that whole kind of population that I would then responded because they were being nice to him. Um, Facebook, very, very heavy. Um, LinkedIn, almost non-existent. Uh, IT, web design, tech guys seem to be moving more so to um, Twitter which is kind of, that's sort of been in the last year, because really, um, up until then, a lot of the tech companies that we were working with, they were not on Twitter. You might have one or two internet savvy, but just, be, and I think that's one of the mistakes people make is, well, they kind of use computers, so they do everything with computers. And clearly that's not the case in social media. Um, the tech folks who are really strong at coding and software are not necessarily very social. 